giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Kling with Mediacom News Leaders. We are welcoming several guests today from the Science Center of Iowa. We have Hannah Little, the Communications Coordinator, Rachel McCarl, the Guided Learning Manager, and also Rufio, who uh, is probably the first dinosaur guest we have welcomed on News Leaders. Uh, but we will get to Rufio uh, and his part of the exhibit in just a second. But first of all, Hannah, let's talk about the uh, dinosaur exhibit overall. This is pretty exciting. It's Tyrannosaurus Meet the Family. Um, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, so we have, again, Tyrannosaurus Meet the Family, and it is a look at not only T-Rex, which is pretty well known and well loved, um, but also the different family members of the Tyrannosaur family. Um, and what's cool about it is we use a lot of immersive and interactive um, components. So it's a hands-on learning experience. Wow, so then tell, walk us through kind of the experience for kids if they're coming to, to check this all out then. For sure, yeah. So you walk in um, and there are the traditional skeletons and the cast skulls, um, but then there is a tunnel that you can walk through where you walk with the dinosaurs. Um, there is kind of like an iPad type of very large format screens that you can actually um, touch and learn and interact with. And then we get to uh, Hannah and her friend Rufio. Tell us about their role in this exhibit. So Rufio is a part of one of our shows called Cretaceous Conversations. Um, and he gets to talk with members of our audience, especially the younger crowd, um, to help them learn more about tyrannosaurs. Wonderful. So yes, we want to talk about this is he his role is geared towards the younger members of the crowd. Let's talk about kind of the kids' responses to um, some of these dinosaurs because it can be a little overwhelming. <laughs> for sure, <laughs> for sure. Um, with Rufio, he's kind of a friendly dinosaur, so okay. he's not as scary. Um, <laughs> but we have seen a little bit of like an unsteadiness, unsureness with our um, bigger tyrannosaurs, but not Rufio. He's he's pretty nice. Yeah, so as far as an age range for kids to come in to, to check this all out then, what do you recommend? I would say all ages. Um, we really have something for everybody, whether it's the little, little kids, um, middle schoolers, high schoolers, adults even. And how long do people have to come in and, and see all of this? So all of this is leaving Iowa on April 22nd. So just a little bit of time left. Okay, so yeah, get in and, and check it all out then. But you have some other things going on related to dinosaurs as well, is that right? Yes, that is right. We have um, Downward Facing Dinos, which is a dinosaur themed yoga classes for all ages. Um, and that is on March 15th. We also have Cretaceous Coastlines, which is a part of our Cafe Scientifique program. Um, and that's more for the adult, so high school to um, adult audience. And we have Dr. Corey Redman um, from Drake University coming to talk about um, the different coastlines in North America and how we use fossils to better understand. Yep. Very cool. And then uh, spring break, some special activities then as yes. well? Yes. So from March 9th through 18th, we will be open on Mondays, which is special for us. Um, we also have a Pi Day celebration, which will be on um, March 14th, and we'll be celebrating all things pie. And for people who don't know Pi Day, we're not yes. really talking about the, the we're one not you talking, bake in the oven. Yep, <laughs> about edible pie. We're talking about the number, um, and it, the first three digits are 3.14, so we celebrate it on March 14th. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, um, anything else that people should be uh, kind of have on their radar coming up at the Science Center yes. in the coming months then? Yep, we have our Downtown Earth Day tour coming up on April 21st. Um, we have the end of Tyrannosaurus on April 22nd, but we're also bringing um, a refresh to our exhibit called Wide the Sky um, and talking about Peggy Whitson um, and some different Iowa connections that we have to space. Yes, Peggy Whitson, the astronaut from Iowa. So a lot to look forward to. If people would like more information about any of these exhibits, they can go to sciowa.org. And we sure appreciate uh, your time today, especially you, Rufio. We appreciate it. Well, we've been talking with uh, members of the Science Center here on Mediacom News Leaders. Join us next time.